You guys know how much I love participating in booktube tags. So today I'm going to be participating in the reader problems tag. Let's get into it. <music> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Rachel here. As always, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing. You can also like this video so that it is referred to other viewers as well. So like I said, I'm going to be participating in the Reader Problems book tag. I saw this tag on BookTube. I can't even remember when, but I was like, this would be so fun to participate in. So it's one where there are questions that will be asked. Like, it's like, what is the average problem that a reader goes through in terms of sorting out books to be read, buying books, just being faced with different things. These are actually problems that we encounter so and these things are like a huge deal for us readers okay so i'm going to start with the first question number one you have twenty thousand books on your tbr how in the world do you decide what to read next yes of course <laughs> twenty thousand is just like being whatever but yeah typically we would have one million to two million books on our tbr how do i decide what to read next honestly i just go with the flow i really just go with flow sometimes as i said on my channel you guys i actually have a list of tbr i have a book where i write down the list of books that i want to get into and if maybe a book is hyped enough i may fly to that one and put it ahead of the other ones but most times i try to be organized and stick to a book no matter how many books are coming out no matter how many book reviews are coming out no matter how many distractions they are read me read me and then sometimes i hear my books going pick me pick me pick me who else hears their books going pick me pick me when they're looking at the bookshelf i'm just saying because that's an actual thing that happens just in case you guys are about to judge readers anyway when i don't hear my book saying pick me pick me pick me i either go with my tbr that i've written down or i just go with the flow if i'm trying to be spontaneous sometimes a book will be hyped like i said and i would then pick up that book and read over other books that i had planned to read so yeah it's always a mess like trying to decide and the indecision can cause a reading slump that's how indecisive you can be you can be so indecisive that you're like oh you know what I don't even know I, I don't even know i'm not even in the mood anymore please just leave me alone then you go and slump <laughs> in, a, in a hole or something okay number two you're halfway through a book and you're just not loving it do you quit or are you committed hmm. honestly it depends it depends because there are books that i i don't feel guilty about dumping a book it says nothing about me it says nothing about whether i'm able to finish a book or not i don't feel any form of way about dumping a book halfway i rarely dump books halfway i like to give them the chance to just see whether something you know i'm constantly turning the pages i almost almost dumped my lovely wife which you guys know about like i almost i was so close but i'm like no just keep on going just keep on going and i did not regret it because the last like 100 or last 80 pages were like Oh my goodness i stayed up all night pacing around the living room talking to myself at 2 a.m when i finished this book i'm like how no you know so when things like that happen i'm always hesitant to dump the book halfway even if i'm not loving it but trust me i don't think i'll wait until i get halfway if after the first 30 to 40 pages i'm not feeling it i dump that stuff man and I, I, I don't feel bad about it sometimes i will give the book a chance to prove itself because it's not every book that everything happens in the first 50 pages so it, it really really depends on my mood but if something is slowing me down to the point where i'm not feeling like i don't even feel like reading anything again then honestly i'm going to dump it because you're not going to affect me reading other books so there's that number three the end of the year is coming and you're so close but so far away on your goods read good reads reading challenge do you try to catch up and how for those of us that don't pay attention to the good reads reading challenge <laughs> we don't feel guilty in any way so <laughs> i have a good read i go there once in a while this year i try to be a little bit more active on good reads. i only go to good reads to go and read other people's reviews on a book but I'm not so, I don't, before I read a book, I'm so protective over the reviews that I watch, the reviews that I read. I try to have my own mindset. I don't want anybody's reviews to influence me, even if sometimes some books are hyped. And I'm like, okay, maybe this book might be really nice, but I don't read in-depth reviews. I just see the star ratings and I'm like, okay, a lot of people really like this book. Maybe 
next year I would take the Goodreads reading challenge seriously, maybe, maybe not. Number four, the covers of a series you love do not match. How do you cope? Hmm. Now, wow. I honestly don't know. I don't know. Like, maybe people who read a lot of series, because at least the ones that I've read, they match, they were okay. I don't know. Maybe you guys can share with me how you cope, because I can just imagine the emotional trauma when it doesn't match. So I'm not even going to have that conversation because I can't relate. All I'll just say is a yak bele. That's like, mm mm, like, sorry. Mm do, you know. Y'all will be fine. Number five, everyone and their mother loves a book you really don't like. Who do you bond with over shared feelings? Sheon. Except when she goes to go and refer a book to me that I don't like, which rarely happens to be fair. Like, me and Sheon will talk about a book like, why is this book hyped? Like, we'll be on the phone for like one hour, two hours, three hours talking about why on earth a book is hyped. She's like my go-to favorite reading book buddy of all time. She reads like a lot and that's amazing. Number six, you're reading a book and you are about to start crying in public. How do you do? Me, I'll cry, yo. I cry. I've cried at work. I've cried at court. I've cried in the house. I went out one time to the road to go and exclaim when I finished reading it, but I don't care. Yo. I let the tears flow. I let the tears flow like because I can't keep it and then it's after work I come back I'm start I'm now crying like I cry everywhere or anybody that has a problem with it, that's why is it your tears is it your cry it's not your cry and 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 for those of you that be like oh it's just they're just fictional characters is it your fictional characters too please leave us alone thank you next one a sequel of a book <laughs> you loved just came out but you've forgotten a lot from the prior novel would you reread the book skip the sequel try to find a synopsis on goodreads or cry in frustration no most times even if i would forgotten how the prior novel went by the time i read the sequel i remember sometimes if i've done a review on it on my youtube channel i'll go and watch my review sometimes i may just read the synopsis of the prior book but i rarely forget like i rarely forget how a book made me feel and in feeling the emotions of the book i start to recollect okay this is what is going on this is what is going on so i would you would never you it's very rare that i would reread a fictional book i typically reread non-fiction and self-help but mostly non-fiction political history political like historical non-fiction but you will rarely see me read a fictional book again because i've tried to remind myself if i've forgotten i've forgotten I beg. it's never that deep by the time i'm reading the next one i will remember everything that i in quotes forgot in the prior novel so no i will not cry in frustration i will just do what i need to do to get it moving number eight you do not want anyone anyone borrowing your books how do you politely tell people nope when they ask i simply say no why, why do people like to borrow people's books? Why, why don't you want to get your own book? Why, why do you like that? These are my babies. And I feel like when I'm borrowing it out, like they always look at me and be like, Mommy, no. Like, so no, I wouldn't want to. Would you want to do that to your babies? Anyway, number nine. Reading ADD. You've picked up, that's attention deficit disorder. You've picked up and put down five books in the last month. How do you get over your reading slump? Honestly, I don't know if my reading stump is that picking up and dropping five books in the last month. That has never happened to me. At most, two books. But I have entered reading slumps upon reading slumps upon reading slumps. I did a full video on how to get out of a reading slump. So you guys can check it out. I'll make sure that it pops up at this particular moment. Or I leave it in the link in the description box. But very quickly, what I do is I try to look for a very, very short novel or a very very short article or something that i can read that'll make me feel like okay yes i've read this so typically it'll be a short fictional work something that i can escape in the writing style is easy nothing too complicated maybe 50 to 70 pages or at most 100 pages 102 pages it could even be non-fiction once i do that then i've, pa I've passed the first hurdle of feeling like oh i'm the worst i can't even read anything i'm not even in the mood and then also i try to limit distractions i try to get myself out of that funk by telling myself yes you want to read you know and there's some other tips that i put on in that video of how to get out of a reading so but the first and foremost one that i do is to look for the shortest possible book that i can find that's probably been hyped by a lot of people and they've said oh this is a lovely read preferably fiction and then i read that and i feel like oh yes i can actually start reading again and before i know it i'm on that um 
learn and then if i found myself in a reading slump because i was doing a lot of netflix i obviously try to shut it down maybe not immediately but like you know gradually until i'm not binge watching a series or something else number 10 there are so many new books coming out that you're dying to read how do you how many do you actually buy <laughs> if i say all of them like but no <laughs> yeah i i i i uh, all of them but not at once you guys not at once like i pace myself i said that i was on a book buying van to the end of this year then i went and did a bookstore tour with chill zoe and ended up buying quite a number of books but not that many so 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 i mean let, let's let's just be guided so i buy all of them but not like not at the same time you know <laughs> last one is after you've bought the new books you can't wait to get to how long do they sit on your shelf before you get to them <laughs> gosh there's some books that have been on my shelf for the past two and a half years that i've not read like other than sniffing the new book i'm going <sighs> like some of them i just leave on my shelf like to be honest <laughs> not all of them not all of them i'm just telling you the longest that have happened with me not all of them some of them in fact the day i'm getting it doesn't even sit on my shelf i start reading immediately or like a week after or, or like a day or two days you know so this is the one i want to know so in the comments you guys tell me how long a book actually sits on your shelf after you get it in fact the book that is the long that has sat on your shelf the longest how many years or months <laughs> has it been so yeah oh my goodness this was so much fun i wish there were more questions but it's only 11 questions let me know in the comments if this is something that you enjoyed let me know how long the longest book has sat on your bookshelf and how you politely tell people no when they ask to borrow your books i will see you in my next video bye